So just humor us until we sort of get into the, into the main thrust. Take 304. <laughs> No problem. So I said, Miss, could you come here for a minute? I said, I'm going to go out and smoke three cigarettes. I will be gone exactly 15 minutes. You have a pair of clippers with you? Put your dog in the Continental. She put it in the Continental. I pointed to her. And guess what? The following year, she was the top winning dog all brands. <laughs> Oh, and then one day I came home <laughs> and I said to uh, one of the kids that was working there, he said, oh, Jim had the most wonderful looking guy up here the other day. I said, well, certainly you didn't take him into that pig pen he lives in. <laughs> Not at all, he used your bedroom. <laughs> I said, he did what? Neither of which I would give $5 to buy me a dog so that I don't have a lot of faith in their opinion. And Raymond Oppenheimer, who I think was the best, says to the lady, how much did Mr. Green offer you for the dog? She told him the price, and Mr. Oppenheimer said, I will give you the same amount of money, but you need to leave the dog in this country because we need him. And I'll never forget it till the day I die, because Percy Roberts said, you walk down to that corner, young man, and come back and just let the dog stand. And he walked up to the dog and he went like that, and the dog walked up to him and looked him in the eyes as if to say, am I not the goddamn greatest thing you ever saw? <laughs> and I won best in show. And this Afghan walked in and won the hound group. Oh, and I have one more story I have to tell you. It's a given, I have to. I judge Richmond, and in for best in show, walks a woman. <laughs> 